What's up, Undertoads? This is Derek from Classic Game Room, and welcome back to our feature on the top 10 Nintendo Wii games of 2011. Now, if you missed part one, you go back and watch that for the first five games on our list. And while you're at it, just, you know, go back and watch last year's feature, too. And when you're ready, here are the top five Wii games of 2011. The original De Blob was such a great Wii game because it embraced the spirit of the platform. The creativity, the quirkiness, the character, and even as a multi-platform release, the sequel does the same. De Blob 2 takes the blueprint of its predecessor and adds even more color. It's a platformer with a focus on creation, like Mario Galaxy meets Mario Paint, and it's absolutely beautiful, shiny textures. <laughs> Kudos to the team at Red Links for taking a design influenced by the 8-bit classic Excite Bike back to a Nintendo console, and giving it a Nintendo twist. Trials HD has arrived on Wii only in the form of Moto Heroes, a bizarre racer meets platformer with emphasis on physics and insanity. The obstacles are crazy, the environments are beautiful, and the key addition, the multiplayer, is its biggest selling point. And for $15, it's one of the very best games on WiiWare. The Wii has had two Super Mario titles, a proper Donkey Kong title, two Metroids, two Zeldas, and yes, even two Kirby games. The last time Nintendo did that, try 1990 Never. In fact, Kirby's had a better run on the Wii than perhaps any console ever. And in his second Wii adventure, Kirby goes back to his roots. The aptly named Return to Dreamland is a delightful old school compliment to the innovation of Epic Yarn. And after a decade in perpetual limbo, it's nice to see this story have a happy ending. How sweet it must be to reclaim your franchise. Five years ago, Rayman was there for the Wii's launch, but he would be upstaged by a bunch of rabbits. Soon, his name was pulled from the games altogether, but here we are, years later, and not only is he back, but he's got one of the very best games of 2011 on any platform. Rayman Origins is a spectacular release, perhaps a creative apex of the modern retro movement. The graphics are stunning, the gameplay is perfect, and the retribution is sweet. <laughs> High definition doesn't do a game any good if the graphics don't have style. Whether 720 or 1080, you can have as many P's as you want, but if you don't have the art to back it up, it doesn't make a difference. Beauty isn't about the process, it's about the aesthetic experience. It's about the art. And if those are your criteria, this is one of the prettiest games of the year. Incidentally, it's also a very bold game. Inspired by the Impressionist painters like Monet and Renoir, Skyward Sword's most distinguishing feature is how it looks, an intelligent style that pays huge dividends on the underpowered Wii. The game also streamlines Zelda exploration, keeping the process more efficient and focused on action. And when the action's this good, that's a smart design choice. Now, there's never been a better use of motion control in a traditional video game than Skyward Sword, one of the best Wii games not only of 2011, but of all time. 